This is a higher tutorial on quantitative electrolysis. Taking questions from class 11, section B, question 50, part 2. Question asks, the equation of the reaction at negative electrodes is Ce3 plus plus 3 electrons goes to Ce. Calculate the mass of cerium in kilograms produced in 10 minutes when a current of 4,000 amps is used. So we're working steadily. The first thing to do is to know our equation for working out the coulombs. Q equals I, which is current, times time, time, which is in seconds. So this is amps, so here, and this is in seconds, which is here in minutes. So we need the first thing we need to do then is to work out the coulombs. Coulombs. We Q equals four thousand times ten minutes times sixty. So sixty seconds in in a minute, and that's ten minutes. So that's six hundred seconds. So we have. Two dots. So I'm just going to write that there. Number of coulombs. So twenty. This number is because the charge of an electron, charge of an electron, is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19, times by Avogadro's number, which is the number of mole, which is the number of electrons in a mole. Avogadro's number which is equal to 6.02 times 10 to 23. Therefore, if we multiply these two together, uh, we get the charge. Multiply these two together, we get the charge of 96,500 coulombs. So we have to see in this reduction here, we can see that three lots of three moles of electrons are, are used. So from C E three plus plus one electron this is C E two plus that's ninety six five hundred. Five that. From C E two plus plus one E minus from C E plus ninety six five hundred and from C E plus plus one E minus from C E ninety six five hundred. So if we sum all these together, we've got three times ninety six five hundred. Which is equal to two eight nine five hundred. We got cool. So charge to reduce one mole equal to two eight nine. Coulombs. 
So using the atomic mass, we know one mole of Pe is equal to 140 grams. Therefore, to work out the number of grams per coulomb, we do 140 grams over 289500, which gives us 4.8 4 times 10 to the minus 4 grams of coulombs to the minus 1. So for every coulomb produced, every coulomb used, we produce 4.84 times 10 to the minus 4 grams. So if we, in total, we used 24,000, no, this, this number here, coulombs, we just multiply these two together. So 2, 4, 1, 2, times 5, 4. Get one grams. And as they want it in kilograms, it, the answer is one point. One six kilograms.